Welcome to great online training series on pharmacovigilance interview questions and answers. My name is Ramya and I am working as pharmacovigilance trainer for great online training. If you want to get live training by me, register at greatonlinetraining.com for more details. In our earlier videos, we have already learned about the minimum criteria for validity assessment and also a few case scenarios. In this video, we are going to prepare on the possible interview question related to the validity check on the event. As a pharmacovigilance associate, it is important to submit only valid reports to the regulatory authorities. Sometimes we get reports on the product queries from the consumers or maybe from the physicians as well. So your next interview question might be like, how do you handle these reports on the product queries? So for this question, you need to answer like, so we will check, uh, we will handle these reports based on the type of the product query that we are receiving. So first type is like if it is related to the product quality issue, like any product got damaged or some foreign particles in the injection or some uh, any other scenarios like this, then we will process these cases as product quality related reports. And if the patient has actually taken this kind of damaged product or some product issue related medications, and if the patient experience any other side effects, we also report them to the regulatory authorities as well. So coming to the another type that is on the general inquiries, like if the patient is asking if, the, if I can take the medication once a day instead of twice a day that is mentioned in the label or maybe mentioned by the physician, or maybe can I take with this, this type of food or maybe can I take with if I if I'm taking some other medications or maybe some concerns related to the side effects that are mentioned in the product label because maybe we may report we may receive few reports like uh, the patient uh, I mean the patients can be concerned about the side effects related to the product but though before taking the medication only they will be concerned so these type of medical inquiries or the, are the concerns that are reported by the patient we will not consider these reports as valid because there is no valid report and there is no product quality complaint as well so these reports will be processed as invalid so we will not submit this information to the regulatory authorities so this is how we uh, we handle the reports on the product queries and I, I hope this video will be helpful for you and if you have any questions you can ask us from the comment section below and we'll get back to you at earliest thank you for watching